This is another Terranscapes video uh, discussing a custom work project that is uh, being integrated into um, the main terrain line and is designed um, originally to accompany the historical Battle of Rob modular board set um, which is also shown in these videos. Um, and of course, if you want to see any of these pieces when they're completed, or for more information on how you can have custom work done for you, you can always visit Terranscapes.com. So, um, as per the previous discussion um, via email, the uh, thought was that the original bridge, this one here, which is a, based on the um, Hearst Arts block line, um, the modular blocks that um, he produces molds for, and uh, it was felt that this bridge was um, a little out of historical context. And of course, one of the things you mentioned is that it has steps and that you wanted the steps uh, removed um, because, of course, it doesn't really simulate um, bridges that are used by carts, uh, etc. So what I did is I took that bridge and I shrunk it down a bit. I removed the steps so it's a smooth transition, um, as smooth as the blocks allow, uh, to the surface of the board. And I removed um, the elements that sort of really imply a fantasy setting, you know, the points, the uh, of course the faces, um, and um, even the pillar work a little bit because the pillars uh, really seem a little out of place for a mo model of this size. So this bridge is um, two inches wide. Um, that is the uh, minimum size the tiles really allow uh, and um, spans the river sections on the modular board. And just to give you an idea, um, pan back. Um, so here's the next river board to be completed. Um, we can see here, this is the uh, road. The road is about two and a half inches wide, um, very slightly um, in width, but it's about two and a half inches wide. And this bridge then will allow um, for a fairly nice uh, connection between the two sides and has um, a decent uh, arch over that span. And I think that'll work out well. Of course, though, um, if this uh, bridge doesn't suit you, um, I have no problems. Uh, this bridge will um, easily market um, on its own to other customers. So feel free to um, uh, tell me if you need to have a different bridge uh, constructed for the stone bridge. There are other options um, instead of this one, uh, one being actually constructing the bridge out of foam and carving all the individual stones. Uh, I think, though, that this produces very nice um, appearance and is slightly less labor intensive than doing that but of course um, doing it from foam allows me to build it to any specifications um, a little bit more freely. The other bridge that you um, requested was the uh, wooden bridge and as I said I went to the Games Workshop site and I saw that their uh, wooden bridge from their skirmish uh, scenario suggestions um, seemed like a nice compromise between a very plain bridge and something that's a little bit dressed up so what I did is I took that bridge and I have um, made a mold um, and so I can cast pieces. Um, this bridge has only been partly primed. Um, and so um, what I did is I dressed it up with a little stonework, um, a little bit of a rail. Of course this is going to be hard to see in the uh, video as it goes to YouTube because of the compression. Um, small little dress up point on the top. And um, it has a textured surface that you can't see yet, um, what will be revealed when it's painted. And then I um, made a wooden plank um, archway to connect the two sides. Um, and this is actually a little bit wider than the wooden bridge. Um, this is uh, two inches wide. This is two and a half inches wide. Here you can see um, a 28 millimeter model for scale. Get an idea of that. Um, and this bridge uh, over the waterway. Um, fills a similar role. Give me another perspective from the sort of waterish angle. Uh, one thing that I felt once I completed at least this mock up was that, um, you know, you seem to imply that the wooden bridges were a bit smaller than the stone bridge, and here it's, uh, you know, very comparable in size, and it's actually a little bit wider, uh, looks a little more robust. So um, perhaps that's a problem. You might like this smaller. I could shrink the width of the bridge. I could also um, remove the sides and we could do a um, perhaps a much uh, 
you know, a very, very thin rail that would come over the sides. Um, I have a new scroll saw that allows me to do circular cuts, and uh, I think I could cut a very nice, very short rail that would dress up the sides of this and um, really take a lot of its, uh, you know, its mass away from it. You know, visually, um, these sides add quite a bit of mass, and of course the sides are meant to represent um, stonework, um, so that uh, may not be appropriate from what was historically present there, or at least the feel that we try to represent. So if you feel like you'd like to remove the sides and you'd like me to put a small uh, wooden dressing on the corner, uh, let me know about that and I'd be happy to do that. I'd like to um, cast this um, plank uh, surface though in resin, um, partly to strengthen it and also so that I can produce them um, regularly for other customers as well as I think um, it's, a, it's a nice simple bridge um, that would be um, uh, desirable by a lot of gamers for quite a few actual uh, uh, gaming systems. So um, that will take me just a few days to um, set up that mold and um, to uh, begin pouring it uh, and assuming I don't have any um, hiccups, this would be a new style of mold I'll be doing. Um, so I'll have a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, I think that will go fairly smoothly. So um, that's a summary of the bridges um, as I've kind of got them at this point. Um, again, your feedback is always helpful and welcome. I'm happy to make changes to either bridge um, if you feel they're needed. Um, I could also, as a thought, um, I could also mock up another bridge like this, except that it's three inches wide. Um, but I felt like, in general, bridges are going to tend to be about as wide as the road, if not a little bit narrower. Um, it's rare that a road widens to reach a bridge. Usually bridges are constructed less than the road's width. So um, I thought the two inches on the stone, especially because it's a more labor-intensive material, if you consider um, cost of construction in a, in a real-world setting, uh, they're probably going to go a little narrower on a, wooden, on a stone bridge than they would on a wooden bridge, which would be cheaper to build and quicker. Um, so I uh, will wait for your feedback before I pursue that any further. Thanks.